What up, YouTube? Welcome to the pre-intro video of the uh, Candy Root Beer Tahoe. Um, basically, is basically what I want to say is the reason why the video took so long to upload. It's a few reasons. Um, it's actually November 10th, 2017. I finished this truck September 5th, 2017, and it was picked up the next day, September 6th, 2017. And um, he dropped it off June 30th of 2017. Um, actually, what happened was he took the car, he took the, he took the truck to a shop where he lived, close to where he lives, and um, he popped up on him. He wasn't satisfied with the paint job, and he told them to put everything on the inside. And he called me. He talked over the phone. And uh, gave him an estimated price over the phone. He said, hey, man, I'm going to bring it to you today. He pops back up at the shop, loaded it on the trailer, and brings it to me. The first picture you see is when he pulls up at my shop on June 30th to drop it off. Um, with the paint being so fresh and being a candy, there's multiple, multiple layers of paint on that truck. I had to let it sit for three, three and a half weeks in order just for it, almost a month, just for it to fully cured. If I was to start sanding on that truck and put fresh paint on top of that fresh paint, man, the whole truck could possibly burn completely. Now, honestly, the truck needed to be stripped. Whoever he took the truck to to get painted, it's like they ran the base or ran the primer or ran something that was underneath the candy. And they put multiple, multiple layers on top of the coat that they ran. So I honestly, truly needed to strip the truck back down to the original paint. But my customers were pressing for, he was pressing for an event to take the truck to. So we didn't have enough time to actually strip the truck like it's supposed to be done. So I blocked it as smooth as I possibly could. And the runs that you, you could barely see it in my paint. You can only see it unless I showed it to you or if you was actually looking for it. But just walking by it at a car show or something like that, you couldn't see it. But I know it's there. The customer knows it's there. And we're actually in the talks of now bringing it back to actually strip it and do it like it's supposed to be done. Um, another reason why, well, the main reason why I'm uploading it so late is... Um, he took all his accessory parts, his grill, his grill, his his side mirror covers, his rims, his his chrome um, door handle covers. He took that to a spot back home where he stays to get plated in gold. And um, once that got done, he was supposed to bring me those pieces to get put on while I still had the truck. Well. Um, they ended up taking a lot longer than what they were supposed to. So he was bringing the truck here. He was he came to get the truck, to take the truck to get audio put in. And even after the audio done, they still wasn't done with the gold plating. So it got to the point to where um, he didn't have time to bring me back the truck to put all the gold accessories on. So he ended up finding another shop back home to uh, to do it. So. I was waiting till he bring the truck and all the gold pieces back for me to put on so I can get the last video footage of the truck being done with the gold pieces on it, but it didn't happen. And uh, so all I have is pictures. He sent me pictures and at the end of this video, you will see the pictures. Um, like I said, we're in talks now. He just called me like a week or two ago. He's like, hey man, give me a couple of weeks and I'm gonna bring it to you so you can have it over the entire winter to strip it and, um, he loved the paint job. He loved how I did it. He has no negativity whatsoever about the paint job. It's just, we got to fix what the last painter did and we got to strip the truck. So we're going to repaint it back the exact same way um, that you guys see in the video, just without the first painter's mistakes. But anyway, uh, let's get into the video and I um, hope you guys like it. Subscribe, rate, comment. Let's get to it.
Well, big homie. Got everything wet sanded. I just gotta do that other side. And uh, I know you can't see it. But, and everything wet sanded. Smooth. A1. Just gotta do this side. Now it's gonna sit overnight and dry. Tomorrow we start taping it up. Shooting the dough jams in the roof. And then by Friday, I'm gonna shoot the outside. So, just give you an update. I'll see you some pictures tomorrow in the daylight.
for the reclear. Only thing I gotta do is the back part. I hate it. I didn't even get no footage of it outside. My bad, y'all. And I gotta do the hood. Man, I hate I didn't get no footage of it outside. My bad, my bad, my bad. But anyway. Both sides really sanded. We just gotta do the back, what I'm gonna do now in the hood. Put it outside, wash it. And uh, we'll be ready for the reaper. So, we'll be back once I get it outside and washed and in the booth. It's showing red on my phone, but it's, it's actually root beer brown. I don't know why it's got that red, but hey. It's actually candy root beer. With that 24 carry gold in it. Boy, she wet. Gonna start putting it back together. What up, YouTube? Uh, finna spray the last few pieces on the Tahoe. Uh, I guess you could call that a spoiler. And that's the back piece that go across here that the lights go in for the uh, for the tag lights back bumper front bumper i don't think i gotta paint the covers for the mirror i think he got gold cover but i think i'm gonna just paint them anyway just in case he decided to take the cover off or something but anyway this part of the video just to show y'all you know it's not downing any paint now that's one thing about me i don't down nobody that do this shit but this is too light to be candy candy is not supposed to be light it's supposed to be dark and rich like this dark and rich this right here didn't have enough coats on it but like i said i don't know what the painters was i didn't know what what but i know when the truck came in it had clear on it so you know i don't know but fyi your candy is not supposed to look like this it's supposed to be dark and rich as y'all saw the video outside. 
even though my camera is bringing it up to be red, but it's really this color. It's more more like that color because it's like he got more coats on this part versus down here because this part is real dark and rich versus that. But it's more of that color, just a little bit darker. And the only reason why this is showing up brown versus that is because it's less coats. But anyway, and I don't know what type of brand of paint he used. Um, this could be a KK. I shoot nothing but UK candy. So I don't know what what could be concentrated. Um, KK, it could be other brands. It could be an Alsa. It could be a Hot Hughes. Uh, I'm not, not really sure. There's a lot of different candy concentrate. But what's on this car, truck, is nothing but House of Color. UK Root Beer, um, House of Color Zenith Gold, and House of Color uh, uh, Flakes, Gold Flakes. So everything that's on this truck is 100% House of Color. The clear is not what the paint is. But anyway, we finna sand these down YouTube and uh, get these shot, get these sprayed, and my guy be here a little bit later to put the truck back together. So all we gotta do hopefully tomorrow is just put the bumpers on and um, I'm not sure if he want me to put the rims on. I know the rims is getting is getting all gold. You know, the door handles is gold. Uh, they got the covers that go on the mirror, they're gold, and he got the grill gold. I'm not sure if he's going to bring me those items to get put on, but if not, he will, pretty sure he'll send me some pictures of it, but, you know. But hey, let's get these sanded prepped in, in the booth. What up, YouTube? About 90% done on the tile hole before we can start detailing the fuck out of it. Um, I don't know how long it sit at the shop, but at that previous shop, but it was there for, looked like it was there for a minute, looking at all. It got rained in, got watered in, watered in on the inside. But it's only been with us for about a month. And, um, but anyway, for some reason, the driver's side, isn't working we don't have the plug for the passenger side he's supposed to be bringing it down today he's about three and a half away three and a half hours away in nashville 
So he's supposed to be breaking it down so we can at least try to finish up the passenger side. He may have to get a new plug for this side. So he may be going back home with the glass and the door panel on the back seat. Unless he can leave me the money and go buy one or go to the junkyard and find one used or something like that. We don't know. We'll figure it out once we once he get here. But um yeah, pretty much like I said, 90% done. Um the back went together fine. All the weather's back in, weather stripping back in, glass back in. It's just need a detail, plastics back there, back in. We don't have that rear panel. Don't have a clue where that's it. But it wasn't in the truck. But other than that, 90%. Only thing stopping us is these two door panels and these two front glasses. And then um, he's bringing down new headlights, new tail lights. We can put those in. But right now I'm painting the last few pieces. It's a piece to go up here. The piece to go across here. And the back bumper and the front bumper. And he's supposed to be bringing me the new tail lights and the new headlights. So we can and, and figure out what we're going to do about this switch. And then we can fully put them back together. So, all right, YouTube, we're going to go get suited up and uh, start back painting the rest of these pieces. Um, that's one of my tricks that I like to do with my candy. I go in the booth. Is I like for my base to sit overnight. I never shoot my candy jobs the same day. Never. I like for my base to sit down, sit for a good 10, 12 hours, and that way I can come in, lightly sand with some thousand grit, hit it with one more coat, and then go straight to my candy. I never shoot all my candies. It literally takes me like two, three days to shoot candy. I might even let, um, let, um, there's no let. Might even let it sit a little longer, maybe 16 hours, depend on how it's saying. So might even let it sit two days. It all depends on if it sands out real smooth, then knocks down real smooth. I can put a nice, even one coat on there and then I go to my candy. But I never, like I said, I never shoot my candies on the same day. So, but all right, YouTube. Um, Finna, finna lightly sand this and see how it feels and uh we're finna spray some candy so we'll be back got the pause done slick wet not the gun slick no buffing me Yo! All right, I'm gonna walk out. I'm right behind you. All right, guys, I'm gonna let this dry. Come back up here a little bit later, put it all back together for the last few parts. So, see y'all in a couple of hours.
Yeah.